back to party etiquette. Now, we're going to be going into the holiday season, and a lot of people go to functions for work, like receptions or cocktail parties for work. And those cocktail parties are not just about the free drink. I know, who figured, who knew, right? But they're really not. It's not about eating, it's not about drinking. Cocktail parties are about networking. That's all that they're about. So a couple of things to remember when you go is again, put, you know, think about what you're wearing, think about the impression that you make. But there's a couple of other tips as well. So, you know, the name tags go on your right side. So when you're shaking somebody's hand, they can look up your arm. So if you have name tags on now, they should all be on the right side. Everyone's like, uh-oh. <laughs> See a few offenders, won't say any names, that's okay. Um, you want to go there. You want to have your phone away. You want to go in, maybe see somebody that you know, get a little comfortable. Then you want to kind of move on and start talking to some other people because it's about networking and bring your business cards, okay? That is important. Here's my biggest tip about cocktail parties. Eat before you go because if you are the one standing there in front of the shrimp bowl, scarfing the food down, I'm telling you people are not going to like it so much. You will make the best impression that you could. All right, um, and also do some research on the people who are attending so that you know if there is a uh, Susan Jones who's there that you really want to get to know, make sure you've done your research and you can go up to Mrs. Jones, introduce yourself, give your little elevator speech, and have that network opportunity that you really want it. One thing I would say is that, this is such a little thing, but people are like, oh, that's really interesting. Okay, so with your drink, is if I'm holding my drink in my right hand, and I go over here to shake somebody's hand, it's like, here, feel my cold and clammy hand. So a little tip is to hold your drink in your left hand, so that, here, I'll wipe it off first, so that when you, someone comes up to you, you can be like, oh, hey, how are you? And you can be ready to, you know, have this hand free, and you don't have to apologize about your wet, clammy hand. Okay, so that's just one little tip.